there's nothing in here. I see a lot of people start their videos like that. Okay, what's up everybody? So today's video is like a rant style video. I wanted to talk about what YouTube's going through right now. What are these YouTubers doing? And um, why I left the Team 10 house. On multiple occasions, Jake Paul forced me to tickle his butt off. YouTube right now, for some reason, is all about diss tracks. Why are these guys doing diss tracks when they live in the same city? They can confront each other. 95% of the people doing diss tracks can't even rap. In fact, their flow is awful. 90% of the lyrics are just making fun of somebody's appearance. Which is dumb, because if you're gonna target somebody, target them for what they're doing on YouTube or the reason you guys have beef. Don't make fun of them because he's got a weird nose or a loppy eye. YouTube was never like this. YouTube was never so full of negativity. And it's what's ironic about it is most of these people that are making diss tracks are also the ones that are tweeting against the hate that's happening around the world. Of course. But they're also spreading hate on the internet. A lot of the time these people forget about the audience they have and they're just like, oh, f*** this, f*** this, sh 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 you're stupid. And all their audience then agrees with them. And these people are the first to tweet out, hey guys, share love, don't hate. When like 90% of their views now are coming from making diss tracks. I don't know, the whole thing is just getting a little ridiculous, to be honest. Next, I'm just gonna get all my feelings about YouTube out right now. YouTube has been very frustrating for me for a while. Here's an analogy, okay? It's like your boss comes up to you one day at work and says, hey, listen, for the next 30 days, I need you to work overtime, maybe till like 11 p.m. Whoa, that's a lot of work, but okay, I'll do it. 30 days go by, you're grinding, you're grinding, you're working your ass off. Monday morning, after the 30 days are over, you show up to work, and you go to your boss, like, what's up, man, 30 days are done. He's kind of like, what, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. I just put in all this work and there was no payout? Like you're, you're gonna pretend nothing ever happened? In this situation, YouTube would be the boss. It's, it doesn't matter how much work you put in, sometimes it doesn't matter, you won't fall into an algorithm or you won't be promoted. So that was very frustrating for me for a long time. Now I'm in this headspace where I'm like, I'm just gonna do what I wanna do and do what I love to do. I think a lot of people mistake kindness for weakness. I hate drama more than anything. So seeing this diss track thing become a thing is so frustrating because I feel like I'm the only one that sees the reality behind this. Most of these guys probably live in the same neighborhood. Why aren't they interacting and squashing their beef? Well, it's because they're doing it for the views. My next thing, Logan Paul and Jake Paul. I actually enjoy Logan Paul. I think that guy, come on, 10 million subscribers within the first year of making his YouTube channel is insane. It's insane, he's obviously doing something right. He's got personality traits that are easy to hate on. Like he's obnoxious or he has a big ego. But keep in mind, that's a character, guys. That's a skill that he's got. And it's a skill, if you were to watch some of his vlogs, Every day, it's like he's got something kind of happening. It had to have been scheduled, so at least he's doing that. He's putting in the work, and he's getting the payout. Similar thing goes with Jake Paul. However, the issue with Jake Paul is he'll do things that, just watch a video of his, he ripped the TV off the wall, slid it down the stairs, put a hole in the wall. Like, that. that's something that a lot of people wish they had, and he's toying with it ridiculously. He's just flopping it around. I think Logan Paul is doing great. He's not spreading super negative stuff around. Jake Paul, I think, has too much money and he's too young. Too irresponsible to live on his own, clearly, because he's destroyed a house that a lot of people would love to live in. I think all in all, what I'm trying to say is, you guys are the viewers. You guys are what fuel the YouTube. And don't be scared to share an opinion that you might not like somebody's diss track or you might not support that stuff because being a nice guy doesn't mean you're a weak guy or being a nice guy doesn't mean that you're not gonna go anywhere you're not gonna be a tough guy you guys do what you want to do thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to my channel if you haven't if you agree with anything i said give this video a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video see you guys later